Okay, you guys, I'm back with another one. Um, I had this vision as well on December 2nd, 2022. At 8.52, I saw an, an ear. Um, when I looked up 8.52, it means manifest. That is not manifest, not manifest or hidden. Um, and so with this vision, it's just showing that what's right now is a time of exposure as well. Um, what's done in the dark is being exposed exposure is here darkness is being brought to the light so let those who have an ear hear and you know if there's anything that if you're living in darkness the time you need to repent because right now is a time of exposure the lord is exposing a lot of things um and so the places that i was led to was hebrews chapter um four Hebrews chapter 4 is where I was led to. I'm going to read verses 12 through 16. So Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. This is about the believer's rest. Um, and I believe this, this, this vision is a continuation on of the other video that I just did. Um, so Hebrews chapter four, verse 12 says, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Um, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open into the eyes of him with whom we have to do seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Jesus, the son of God, let us hold fast our profession for we have not an high priest, which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So if there's anything that you are struggling with, um, anything that you are doing in the dark, go boldly to the throne of grace so that you may obtain mercy and so that you may find grace to help you in a time of need because right now is a time of exposure and and if you don't repent from certain things you know you will be exposed for them um so psalms 90 is the second place that i was led to psalms uh 90 verse 8 Verse 8 says, this is about God's eternity and man's transitoriness. I can say that word, sorry. Um, verse 8 says, thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. Uh, and the last place is Job 26, verse 6, is where else I was led to. Um, so it says, Hell is naked before him, and destruction hath no covering. Okay, so, you know, darkness is being expo exposed in this hour. Um, this, this, this has been a year of exposure. Um, and so, if there's anything that you need to repent from, you need to go to God, and you need to get before him in prayer, on your knees in prayer, humble, humble yourselves before him, and ask for, for forgiveness and ask him for help with the things that you need help with, that you are struggling with, that are um, considered darkness. And so that is it for this word. I'll be back with, with another one. See you soon. Goodbye.